Hey, welcome to the channel. You've got questions, we've got answers. For example, how quickly can a BLK-1000 be installed? How's the BLK-1000 installed? What is a BLK-1000? I'll answer all those questions and more. Stick around. Last thing first, the BLK-1000 is emergency lighting retrofit kit, which consists of a driver, module, and an installation kit, which includes all the wires and screws you would need to do the installation. The install process is fairly simple, requiring only a few hand tools, a drill, and the BLK-1000 retrofit kit. Make sure you remove power from the fixture before starting the installation. This fixture is a 2x4 troffer that's previously been converted to Type BT LEDs. Open up the fixture, remove the lamps, and remove the ballast channel cover in order to gain access to the wiring. This is also where the driver for the BLK-1000 kit will be installed. Now it's time to mount the driver. The driver in the BLK-1000 is a typical form factor to the AC driver industry, so it's likely that your fixture will come with the holes you need pre-drilled. Next up is mounting the module. The same with the driver, you may be able to utilize holes already in the fixture for the installation. In our installation, this was true. We were able to use one pre-drilled hole and use the included self-drilling screws to create the other. Next up, use the included white wire and black wire to connect AC mains. The BLK-1000 requires an unswitched AC hot source to sense the loss of normal power and to maintain the battery charge. Once all the wires are in place, go ahead and tidy them up just to make for a cleaner installation and make it easier to put that ballast channel cover back on later. Here we are wiring the LED module to the driver. It's a pretty simple process using the included two conductor cable. Just poke the wires into the LED module and into the driver. Make sure to pay attention to polarity, which is marked on the module and on the driver. Simply LED plus to LED plus and LED minus to LED minus. A half inch hole is required to install the combination test switch and charge indicator light. Here, I'm using a step drill bit to give me that half inch hole. For this fixture, we're installing the test switch into the ballast channel cover. It's a pretty typical location for this type of fixture. Location of the test switch can vary, but you have to make sure that it's relatively accessible by maintenance and also the charge indicator light is visible after installation. In this fixture, when the lamps are off, you can see the glow of the charge indicator light through the lens. Now connect the wires for the test switch and charge indicator light to the BLK-1000. You may need a small tool to press the button on the terminals in order to insert the wires properly. It's worth noting that though you can test with the test switch manually, the BLK-1000 comes with Bodine's ST-Select. ST-Select allows you to enable or disable self-test functionality through the flip of a switch found on the driver. And now, it's time to put the fixture back together. Wrestle the ballast channel cover back into place and reinstall your lamps. Once done, you can test your installation. Applying unswitched hot will cause the charge indicator light to glow green, indicating that the product is charged. Switched hot power will turn the lamps on and off as usual. And there it is, installation of the BLK-1000 in under eight minutes. For more information on the BLK-1000, go to www.bodine.com slash BLK-1000. Any questions on this or anything else, go to www.bodine.com, call 1-888-BODINE-8, or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.